corrects it is a poison. But I'm going to kind of go into this a little bit different than maybe you've ever heard. Now, some of that information that you've already heard already, uh, you probably know, is the fact that, you know, some of this kind of chemical you can find in uh, Windex for cleaning the windows. And uh, Simply Green or Simple Green that cleans a, a general purpose cleaner. So we've been exposed to this kind of stuff but not at the levels and not in the area of our body. That's why you're told, you know, do this in a well-ventilated area and so forth. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been uh, exposed to it, but not in the, the quantities that's going on. And and if you can take those kind of cleaners and clean the bugs off the counter, everybody says, well, what, what's going on with uh, uh, these chemicals in the ocean? Well, here's what's going on. Uh, in, in the training that I've had, which was uh, European biological medicine, we have this uh, understanding that's outside the existing medical model that microbes can morph, they can change. And, you know, when I first heard this, I didn't believe it either because here I am sitting there with a, a well-known uh, research uh, and practitioner, uh, uh, medical uh, director of a hospital in Switzerland, telling me that viruses turn into bacteria and bacteria turn into uh, fungus and so forth, or fungi. And you sit there and you go, oh, there's no way. Well, there was this fellow by the name of Dr. Enderlin who researched that for 40 years and has 6,000 volumes of information when in Germany that proves that is the case. And what's going on in the, in the Gulf is we have bacteria and it, and, it can, and it can morph for three reasons. It can morph because it's uh, attacked by a virus. Say a bacteria can get infiltrated by a virus. The virus can change the genetics of the bacteria so that it morphs into something very deadly. Another way that it can change is through chemicals. Chemicals can then get inside the uh, bacteria and, and genetically change it through chemistry. And that's exactly what's going on right now with Corexit. It's chemically changing the bacteria in the Gulf, and we really don't know what we're going to come up with, except that we know that they can survive change, and some of them are going to become very, very deadly. I mean, I'm talking about Ebola deadly. Now, Ebola is a virus, but it can become deadly, and bacteria can kill you just as viciously as that if they're the right kind. Now, when you've got a morphed bacteria that gets airborne on top of it, now we're going to start seeing it uh, go from person to person. So we're virtually on the verge of something that could end up becoming a, a deadly pandemic. And when they genetically buy just the roll of the dice change into something extremely deadly, we're going to be in trouble. Now, this does, people go, well, if it kills bacteria, why isn't it killing the bacteria in the Gulf? Well, it does kill the bacteria in the Gulf. And it just depends on how much corrects it comes in contact with it and where the bacteria is. Now, the bacteria that's the most deadly is the kind, and sometimes even the virals, viruses, uh, are that don't need any oxygen are on the bottom. They're right smack on the bottom of uh, the floor of the Gulf. And uh, they'll have the thickest cell wall membranes to, to be able to survive the pressure, as well as the fact that they can't get as penetrated by as much corrects it. So instead of killing the microbe, it will morph it. If those get loose and they're deadly, we're in for a lot of trouble. We only think we've got trouble. It could have erupted into something horrible, and they could have already known that was the case. They had to know. All it has to do, all we have to do is have it enter the human host, and it could be a variety that could be transmitted uh, uh, just like a, a flu virus, and or it could be a mutated virus. I mean, I picked out bacteria because it's the most likely, but viruses can mutate because of this too. Um, and yeah, once it gets started, it's going to be near to impossible to stop. 